Grooming Willow is something that took me a while to perfect, especially when it came to Willow cooperating and being patient with me. And now I keep Willow super clean without having to pay a groomer every few months. First, of course, we start with the bath. You should only bathe your dog about once a month because doing it more could dry out their skin. Unless they get into something dirty like mud or sand or whatever, then you can bathe them um, a little more. I bought this really cool spray handle that you can just connect to your bathtub faucet and it has changed the way I give Willow baths. I used to have to fill up a cup of water and dump it on her and it took forever to clean her. So when you're washing your dog, you gotta make, to make sure you scrub, get the booty, wash the face, get the underbelly, and then wash each paw specifically as well. Next step is drying. I don't blow dry Willow because it would take way too long. I let her air dry. I use two different brushes to brush Willow. The first one looks like a fish scaler, but it is my favorite. It gets all of that extra hair out of her coat and it's basically a de-shedding tool. So this is what I use regularly and it's the first thing that I use once Willow's hair dries. Then I like to spray some leave-in conditioner just to make sure this slicker brush that I use doesn't get caught in her fur. This one you wanna do long strokes, and this one's basically getting all that dead hair out um, of her double coat. Willow is a corgi, so I do trim her booty hair. Um, it will grow really long if I don't. Um, what you wanna do is just do a little, a little bit at a time. I use these trimming shears, and it doesn't really look like I'm cutting much off, but it does make a huge difference in the long run. Just be very careful. I started trimming Willow's nails when she was about 10 weeks old and I started with doing one nail at a time. What you want to do is make them get used to the sound of the Dremel, use lots of treats, and then just start by touching it to one nail. And every time they cooperate, you give them a really good treat. Um, and then slowly start trimming the nail. When I did it first, the first time I did it with Willow, it involved a lot of cheese and pretty much giving her a piece of cheese after every little trim. I also shave the hair around her paws just so that she doesn't slip on the floor, just to keep her paws clean and um, keep them fresh. I like to put some of this Kin and Kind Paw Balm on Willow's feet just to keep them soft. Um, she still has her calluses on there, so she's good on the cement and everything, but. I still like to keep them feeling soft and keep them from cracking. 